Hello, my name is Nathan Jones. I'm the Internet Evangelist here at Lamb and Lion Ministries. We're getting so many questions coming into the ministry wanting to know what happens as we get ready for the Lord's return. And we often say, be ready. That Jesus said in Luke 21, verse 28, now when these things, these signs of the end times begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. In other words, Jesus saying is be ready that my return is coming soon. And as we engage with all this pandemic and and we see all these signs of the times coming, plagues and diseases and fearful events and wars and rumors, wars, all the things that Jesus said would mark the time leading up to his return, that they would be like the sign of the fig tree he gave. In other words, when Israel, the fig tree rebutted and became a nation once more, that would be the generation that would see Jesus return. Israel's a nation again. All these signs that Jesus gives in Luke 21 are happening. So we know that Jesus Christ is coming soon. And because he's coming soon, we need to be ready. Now, the question people ask is then, well, what do I need to do to be ready? And believe it or not, of course, Jesus answered that in Luke 21, verse 34 through 36. And it reads, but take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing and drunkenness and the cares of this life. And that day come on you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So Jesus gives us five things that we should be due to get ready for his return to rapture the church up to heaven. And number one is stop sinning. If you're a Christian, obviously you should be leading a holy life. Don't sin. If you're an unbeliever, obviously you're going to keep sinning, but that means that you will be caught unready for when the Lord's returns. And why is that? Because being ready for the Lord's return, meaning having accepted Him as your Lord and Savior. In other words, you're saved. Your sins are forgiven. They're forgotten. And you can stand before God blameless and holy. So avoid sinning. Number two, keep watch. We are told by Jesus to look for His return. You'll hear some pastors say, ah, Bible prophecy, it's all nonsense. And yet Jesus Himself said, when you see these signs, keep watch. So the second thing you should be do to be ready is keeping watch for the Lord's return. The third is these are evil times, so we should pray to escape evil time. Pray for the Lord to protect you and your family, your church, your friends, this nation. We need to be protected in these dark days. Number four, Put your hope in the fact that Jesus Christ is returning to rapture all those who believe in him as Savior up to heaven. It's what's called our blessed hope. So you can grab hold of that hope. And how do you have hope? You've, number five, accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Savior, that, then pray from your heart. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God and He died for your sins. And when you put your faith and trust in Him, He will forgive us your, your sins, your guilt will be swept clean, and you will inherit eternal life with Him forever. So avoid sinning, keep watch, pray to escape evil, hope for the rapture, and accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. You do those five things, then you will be ready for the rapture.